All right, day three. It's around seven o'clock in the morning. We're making breakfast, holding out the camp, getting ready to get on the road. Probably we'll hike down to the creek again so we can wash our faces and do personal hygiene. But so far, that's what has been what we covered. Here is the border with Nevada. Uh, Nevada. I'm always saying Nevada, I don't know why. Nebraska. Nebraska. And uh, there's a little stretch of highway we had to get to get on this road and then kind of down came came down here. Had to get st this stretch on the highway also. There wasn't anything around. This is around Guernsey, Wyoming. There's a Wyoming National uh, National Guard uh, post there. Then we uh, took this uh, gravel road and uh, got into the Medicine Bow uh, National Park. And that's where we, we're still in Medicine Bow, we're on the other side. Uh, but Catherine actually uh, set up all, all the well uh, waypoints for for today but our aim is to get to today to get to this uh, not sure if they are artificial reservoirs or actually natural bodies of water but there is a road that comes through here will shoot through here going west so it's already been laid out and we are ready to leave. Well, we're not ready to leave, but we are getting ready to leave. And we'll get back to the next segment from the road. back to Glendo and I don't recall coming this way. Glendo? Uh, let's let, let talk. She's gonna t take a look at the map to see. Uh, zoom out and see which way Glendo is. Zoom out even part. Okay. Must be here or somewhere. So look, zoom, zoom here, see what did you find? California? No. I'm pretty sure that road back there takes you back to inside 25. Just the way. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it's the other way. That's what I thought, but he told me, talked to, down by where those forks, clear, uh -huh. down at the bottom, take the other dirt road. Huh. That's what I'm wondering if that's. Because he told me if I kept going this way, it'd take me to Glendo. But like I said, I don't recall this. Um, there is no, all. there is no tra a trail or road going. Because Glendo is is uh, southeast from here. Yeah. So I'm, I need to turn around. Then. I think so. Yes. Okay. Well, thank you. All right. Have a good one. You good too. luck. Yeah.
successfully crossed the Medicine Bow Mountains. And this is all in front of us looking to the west. And the journey continues. The medicine bow is behind us. And we are pressing on. Good to go. So it's 11.30 and we spend the whole morning trying to find a way west from uh, Medicine Bow National Park. It's all private driveways, private uh, land. We've got a couple of times, well, actually three, four, maybe even five times we had to turn around because on the map it shows as a road. to backtrack on uh, Wyoming State Road 95 back to Douglas then cross over to what's the, the, the other one road oh, anyway and then we'll have to go south and then um, from those two lakes on the map where we're planting, planning to camp from then on, it should be all federal and state land, so hopefully we'll have an easier time over there. But right now, there's just no way to go to get any part of the west. And that's the status of the plan we're in day three. Let's go. Alright, so we were on our way to Douglas, taking I 95 north, but then. There was a uh, County Road 4 that was seems to be taking us west. So we're trying it to see if, how far it's gonna take us. It's not clear looking at the map. Uh, but we're trying to get down to Pathfinder Reservoir. Yeah. Well, same situation. We drove for a good 10 miles. It was a county road. I end up in private ranches, private roads, no trans trespassing thing. So I have to turn around and track back to Douglas and then figure out from there if we can find some unpaved roads. Uh, but that's how it is. It's impossible to travel. Even though all this land is uh, something I don't, I don't remember what the numbers are 80 or to almost 90 percent of the land in the state of Wyoming maybe not that high maybe uh, maybe about I don't know 80 70 percent whatever it is but it's a huge number it belongs to the federal and state government and it is there's no access to anything so how it is.
Okay, update day number three. Today, today has been a hard day. Everybody's exhausted. Not so much because we've done any hard work. We didn't plow the field or anything like that. But it was just draining because it was. We would think that we found the road and we had to turn around, drive for 20 minutes, realize. It's a dead end, uh, well not so much dead end, but private property, low or private road, no trespassing, that kind of stuff. So uh, I can't even show on the map uh, what we end up doing. We had to make a big um, run around, uh, not just to Douglas, but all the way to Casper and then come down our road uh, 202 was it, Catherine? 202 I think it was. But anyway, we are at the... Pathfinder. Pathfinder Reservoir, that's right. And uh, of course we got here, at, it was shortly after 5, and the wind just finally dying down now, so we and I'm, I'm, when I'm talking about wind, it was uh, it was gusting pretty good. So we had to eat in the truck that because it would just get all the sand up in the air. But it's uh, if it wouldn't be for days like this, we wouldn't appreciate days like yesterday or day before yesterday. So. We are hoping tomorrow is going to be smoother. Not so much, I don't think any of us really mind uh, the hardship uh, of it, but the frustration of not being able to set a course and, uh, and go, um, that's, that's the, the tiring and frustrating side. But now we're sitting by the campfire, the sun is going down. Uh, we are not even planning to put up the tent. There is no, uh, well, there is always a possibility, but it doesn't look like we'll have rain overnight. So <clears throat> we'll just sleep, <coughs> sleep in the cots under the open sky. And I was attempt to find, I think from now on going west it should be easier because it's mostly dry desert so there's not too many ranches out there and uh, uh, it, will be, it will be easier to find uh, roads out there. There's a lot of oil exploration and gas drilling uh, going on that, out that way so <laughs> there, is, there should be plenty of roads to, um, and of course, as responsible citizens, we don't just um, tread <clears throat> anywhere, we tread lightly, we try to stick to the fire or existing roads. And uh, we are hoping to make it closer to Farson tomorrow, uh, to, where we will determine if we'll need to fuel one more last time before a final push to Afton. And that's it for tonight. Good night.